Uh, it's, it's pretty surreal. I mean, I'm kind of at a loss for words of, of what just happened, but uh, it's, it's awesome to kind of be picked by the Blackhawks. I mean, you look at what they've been able to accomplish in the, in the coming years, and obviously the, the management group they have in, in Rocky Wentz and, and John McDonough. So, I mean, it's, it's going to be an opportunity for me to kind of step in there, and I'm, I'm thrilled to be a Blackhawk. Any inkling that it was going to be Chicago before the pick was made? I mean, yeah, I met with him at the Combine and I've been in touch with the team. So, I mean, yeah, I didn't know what to expect. But once I got there it's, it's, and heard my name, it's, it's a surreal feeling and it's hard to describe. Mitch Love whispers this was going to happen to me this afternoon. So I'm not totally shocked, but it seems like you're pretty hard pleased, obviously. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited to kind of be going to the city. I mean, it's an original six team and kind of get to learn from a couple of guys and Jonathan Taves and Dylan Stroman and, and uh, those centermen to kind of mentor me. It's going to be awesome. Uh, it's him a 200 foot center who kind of has an elite playmaking ability and good hockey IQ and, and vision. Uh, a guy I kind of compare myself to and, and want to play like is, is Mark Shifley of the Winnipeg Jets. So just that kind of bigger, rangy centerman who can play hard up and down the ice. Yeah, I mean, you can never be good enough. I mean, everything needs work all the time. So I, I'm always trying to fine tune my game and, and get better to the next level. So uh, I got a lot of a lot of work in, in front of me this summer, and I'm just going to kind of sit back and enjoy the next couple of couple of days and and soak all, all this in and, and have fun. There's been four or five of you for the last month or so that have been mentioned in this group that might go at and top. Have you guys become friends? Is there, is there, has there, was there any kind of competition of who would go first? Yeah, yeah, it's kind of a friendly competition. I mean, me and Dylan and, and Bowen played in the Western League together, and it's good to kind of have that friendship. And then we met Alex Turcotte at the combine in the St. Louis game. So, I mean, we kind of have that friendship going already, and it's, it's awesome to kind of see those guys picked. And, where where they're at and they're going to be great for their teams. Do you get bragging rights in this round? Uh, I don't know if I get bragging rights. It's going to mean Jack's in that group, so he's ultimately got them all. <laughs> what does it mean though to be the first Western leader? Yeah, I mean it's it's huge. I'm, you, there's such a great talent of Western Hockey League players and, and Canadian players here, and to be the first one selected, it's, it's an honor to kind of represent my country that way. Uh, I, I haven't met any of them, but I, I skated with Chris Versteeg a couple of times, and just kind of what he's told me about the organization, it's it's going to be an honor for me to kind of be there, and it's it's a huge accomplishment. Who were some of your favorite players going up to watch? Uh, obviously, you kind of look up to the the big names and Sidney Crosby and, and Jonathan Taves, Patrick Kane, and, and those guys. So I try to idolize a, a lot of guys growing up, but obviously. Uh, uh, more recently, I've been watching guys that I've been compared to, and, and Ryan Getzoff and Mark Shifley in that aspect. Yeah, it's huge. I mean, I had Mitch Love kind of come in this year and, and teach me more about the 200-foot game and, and being a complete player. So to kind of learn that this year at a younger age and, and not struggle at the next level right away, it was awesome.